Okay, here's a nice drill. We've done some things like this before, but um, what this this is what it sounds like. The, you can do this a lot of different ways, of course, but here's a good one. down it kind of if you skip this one and just go here it kind of sounds good but it is sort of hipster or even either the D shape or the G shape kind of bobby sounding and uh, you can do it here too so uh, one more time I'm picking down up down up down up it never changes never stops and it's convenient because if you go down up 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 I'll explain it a little bit, but that's the drill if you just want to stop there and start working on it. It, um, it makes handy, you don't have to do the whole thing. You could go up like part way and back down. It, it's good for, you know, intros or coming up with a quick twin line. Because if you go down, up, down, up, what I mean by twin line is if you're playing with someone and they do something very similar, you go and they go, right? That's going to harmonize, right? That's what it'll sound like. And then you go, and they go, that'll go, sorry, <laughs> almost, no, I don't think I get paid enough to do both parts, <laughs> but you get the idea, so, um, five, you know, give it that kind of, ooh, what's next, um, here we go, oh, sorry, started here, do it, this one. So I'll start to explain what I'm doing. I'm either using a G. Those are the three G's that live there. Or I'm using an A minor. If I keep going, I would have had an A minor there too. Um, I guess you have to decide what you like the sound of, and occasionally you omit one of the diminished ones. Here's what I mean by the diminished one. That's the G major. That's a diminished 
for all intents and purposes. It looks like D flat seven kind of. I'm only using one string, one finger per string. All right. So anytime I'm not using a G or an A, that would be kind of a good drill too, right? Just play G major, A minor, the next G major, the next A minor, the next G major, the next A minor, and work your way back down. And then you just, because that's going G, a, G with the third, A with the third, G with the fifth, A with the fifth, and then you work your way home. So in all the little spaces between, if there is a space, put the diminished. The convenient thing about the diminished, it's always that. It's always the same fingering. That's very handy in this. Okay, so one more time, I'm going to go G major, slide up, diminished, and I'm still going down, up, 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 I think I can, I think I can. minor. You could. It's not, it's not that bad. It kind of sounds cool in a way. But it's good to know what exactly you are doing and to be able to hear it too. That's A minor if I do it this way. This is the key note here. Or that's the diminished. Okay, have some fun with that.